Hello, and welcome to this recording of the information session on the program Psychological Growth and Wellbeing. My name is Jackie Roberge. I'm a partner, coach, and facilitator at Minds Matter. And I'm really excited to be here sharing this program with you today. I've been with Minds, Minds Matter for almost three years, and I have to admit this program is my favorite one to deliver. I finished a an eight-week session last week, and the feedback that we get at the end is always so touching. People are impacted in so many powerful ways, so I call this a powerful life-changing journey of self-exploration, introspection, and growth, and I even had one of the participants say that it's really rare that we take the time for introspection in our busy lives, and how powerful that was for him to be able to be guided in that process. So I wanted to share one testimonial. This course has really helped me with anxiety, also to learn to face the inevitable, difficult or uncomfortable moments that we all experience. And that person recommended to all their colleagues and literally everyone that takes the course gets something different out of it and something very profound and meaningful. And that's why I really felt compelled to have this session and to really open this program up to more companies that want to support employees, not, not just through one-off workshops that can be very impactful, but through a deeper program where there's real opportunity for behavioral change to be solidified over the, the course of the, the program. So let's just take a moment to Put our feet on the floor and breathe. Feel into your body. Straight spine, relaxed shoulder, just a good posture. And this posture signals to your body that it's time to focus, calms the mind. So invitation to just notice any body sensations. How are you showing up right now? Taking a moment to connect with what's going on inside you physically, what emotions are present, and what's going on in your mind. Is it busy? Is it quiet? Good, and just coming back to your breath, taking three deep breaths. And if we were live, I would invite you to share one word about your experience. We always start our sessions with a moment of self-awareness. We know that it's an important part of this learning journey, self-awareness, awareness about how you're showing up in your current state, where you want to get to, and most importantly, what might be getting in your way. So self-awareness is key along all those three aspects that you want to develop. <clears throat> also, just taking a moment to ground yourself before a session, before learning is um, great, it helps absorption and helps with uh, memory as well. So we actually changed the name of this program recently. We're calling it Psychological Growth and Wellbeing Program. So what is psychological growth? It's the positive evolution of one's capacity in terms of mental, cognitive, thinking, memory, intellect, and emotional capabilities. <clears throat> so it includes, as we just talked about, self-awareness, better adapting to life's challenges, and being resilient. And a good part of being resilient is being present what, with what is there, accepting, um, not judging, not pushing away, strong emotions um, and, and things that we have a difficult time facing. So it leads to enhanced well-being, um, greater levels of emotional intelligence, being able to stay calm even through the storm, and a more nuanced perspective on life, which fosters this notion of wisdom and stability as we go through challenging times. And I think that one thing for me is important is this notion of wisdom. We don't access our full capacity of wisdom 
when we're in a, a panic stress um, response state. And it really takes being in a calmer, uh, more grounded place to really access that wisdom. And that's a big part of what we teach during this, this program. So let's take a look quickly at two types of competencies. Vertical competencies, you all know, they're the skills that we learn to do um, a, a better job at work. We might have skills around Excel programming. It might be skills around communicating. It might be skills around um, listening or developing um, strategic planning. And those are really, really important. They're, they set a baseline, but what we work on in this particular program is the vertical growth. So looking at fears, attachments, assumptions, all these things that hijack our ability to actually execute on the skills and knowledge that we have. So you could have a great workshop on communication skills and how to have difficult conversations, but if you're not facing the fear and the avoidance that comes up whenever you're challenged with these types of conversations, you'll never get there. You'll never get to actually executing on these skills that you've learned. So we really take a deep dive, as I said, into self-awareness, self-regulation, and developing this notion of agility and resilience and being able to adapt to the discomforts of life. So there's a few premises upon which the, the program is built. And the first is that we, we get on a life path, um, often when we're very young, get into a career path, we get into a mode of um, working, building um, a family life, a home, children. And sometimes we get stuck in a path that, that almost becomes a rut and it stops us from seeing and exploring other potential paths. So it's for us a, a real chance to challenge people to say, let's slow down. Let's look right now what is most important to you. And are you moving in that direction? Are you, do you have clear intentions and a way forward so that you're not just going on autopilot based on um, a life path that was chosen uh, quite a few years ago? So follow up to that, that we don't invest enough time into understanding our intentions and our values around what is truly important to us. And we often just get influenced by what we think we should be doing and what we think success might look like. And so this course and this program really is an opportunity to challenge yourself, to slow down, to connect with the values and intentions that will lead you to what's really important. We, unex we explore unexplored beliefs and habits that keep us stuck or keep us actually move moving away from what's really important to us. And in unless we identify these and bring them into our consciousness, they continue to operate in, in an autopilot mode in the background. And they keep us from really being and, and developing our full potential. So presence is the foundation of all growth. It's the foundation of this program. And as I said, without it, we'll still be um, relying on those automatic patterns and thoughts and things from the past that may not be leading us in the direction that we want to go to. And finally, one of the big uh, insights that you'll get from the program is that discomfort is not something that we want to run from. It's something that we, we want to welcome as a growth edge. And when we hit up against discomfort, it's a natural human reaction to say, I want to go, I want to leave, I want to avoid. But if you can lean into it, so if you can befriend the discomfort and, and explore the fears that might be coming up, that's when you really have breakthroughs. So that's what we help people experience in this course. And we actually have uh, a literal experience of discomfort that helps one understand that we have the capability as humans to experience discomfort and not run and hide and avoid to actually move through it. So those are the main premises upon which the course is built. In terms of the structure, the first few weeks we focus on stabilizing the mind, creating greater levels of presence. We actually have a lot of 
mindfulness practices, meditative practices that allow us to start to be the observer of our busy mind. And once we start observing, that's when we can start choosing how, how we are thinking, how, you know, what, what beliefs we are leaning into, what ones we are rejecting, what ones we are, are not um, believing anymore. Then we start exploring these habits um, and the discomfort uh, that comes along with, with change. So that's weeks three to five. We actually really take a deep dive into the, what we call a habit loop and how we unconsciously continue to do things that aren't serving us. And once we understand why we continue to do that, then it's a lot easier to make changes. And this all prepares us for the deeper levels of awareness and making really conscious, concrete change in weeks six to eight. And what's really interesting about the program is it's individualized. Each person is invited to choose an intention of something that's important to you right now. And that might be something very personal, like I had one gentleman in the course that wanted a, a deeper connection with his daughter. She had moved away from, um, from home, was at university, and he felt distance there. Um, a lot of people talk about self-care and how they've been taking care of everyone else and not having enough time or energy to take care of themselves. So each person is invited to pick an intention that you want to move towards. And it could be being a better leader, being a better listener, being a more present person at home and at work. So it's really, there's no um, predefined objective. It's whatever you, um, as we go through the introspection and reflection time, whatever is coming up is really important to you in that moment. So here's the actual outline of the sessions. So, Again, at the beginning, we're looking at developing attentive presence. We get into mindfulness practices and invite you to choose one that you're going to do every day. We start a meditative practice right at the beginning of the session so that you are practicing it throughout the eight weeks. And some people at the end of the session say that was their biggest gain is having a regular meditative practice. They've been thinking about it, wishing they could. And the eight weeks and the support that you get allow that to happen. Session two, we do that deep dive into the habit loops and developing a growth mindset around um, developing new, more supportive habits. And we look at things like uh, multitasking, which we all are guilty of, and really challenging ourselves to say, uh, when, when we do one thing at a time, Look at all the benefits that we get from that. And we invite you to experiment with a few aspects of your day, um, just doing uh, unitasking. Session three, we uh, start to explore what is called an ACT matrix. So acceptance, commitment, training matrix, which is a simple tool that allows you to set your intention, the supporting values that um, will help you move towards that intention. And then look at what moves you away, the beliefs and, and thinking and stories and narratives be behind those actions. And then the last quadrant of the matrix is what do you want to concretely commit to in order to move towards your intention? So we start uh, introducing the matrix in session three, and then that is your personalized plan for the rest of the, the sessions. We continue to fill that in. So session four is exploring those unconscious patterns, bringing them into conscious awareness. And that's the only way we can change them is when they become conscious. And once you name them, they're going to be so much more visible and, and you can um, see yourself doing them and become the observer and say, how do I want to respond in these situations instead of my automatic pilot reactive mode? Uh, session five, we talk about allowing and accepting. So allowing the discomfort, moving through it, um, and, and really embracing. We don't wanna be pushing emotions down or difficult experiences. We want to embrace and move through in order to process them. Session six, we look at um, the fears and limiting beliefs that are holding us back and how we can create new beliefs that are more supportive to our intention. And session seven is really finalizing your commitment and all the aspects of the ACT matrix that you can use as a, um, a guide to help you stay on track going forward. 
And session eight, we look at self-compassion and integrating the whole, um, all that we've learned. And self-compassion is important on this journey because sometimes we uncover things, unconscious patterns that we really don't like to see. And our inner critic can tend to be harsh. Our perfectionist might come out. So that's when we want to bring kindness. And we know through adult learning research that kindness and encouragement is a much better path to learning than um, being really tough and hard on ourselves. But it's it's not always easy. So we spend some time and, and look at the different aspects of self-compassion. So that is the, the eight week journey and the practices in between are very important. I'm going to outline what they are. So here's a support structure. So the 10 to 10, sorry, five to 10 minutes of formal meditation practice every day. That's part of what we invite you to practice. And we have informal mindfulness practices, which might be washing your hands mindfully, uh, driving the car, going for a walk, eating, or having your morning coffee in a mindful mindful state. So these things we are inviting to, to develop as habit, new habits, and really getting the support of the group and your learning partner throughout these eight weeks to really entrench these habits. We encourage transfer of learnings into your day-to-day -day life so that you're experiencing things and can bring back sharing. So at the beginning of every session, we have at least 20 minutes, if not half an hour of sharing. And this is where some of the most impactful learning takes place is when people are sharing their, sharing their struggles, their insights, and really learning together as a group. Uh, there's follow-up emails with additional resources after each session. So there, there might be a video to listen to. There's often guided meditations that you can use and, um, and also handouts with um, specific instructions on some of the things that we covered in the, in the um, session. And you each are assigned a learning partner at the beginning of the eight weeks, and you're invited to meet with them 15 minutes between each session. And again, that's an accountability buddy. It's someone to bounce ideas off of and to really share and encourage each other. So that is the support structure. Um, we have done research on this uh, program and it has been very, very impactful, not only just from people's comments and testimonials, but Actual mindful attention has gone up, being able to accept difficult things and, and, and stop avoiding or resisting, um, positively, uh, positive activation. So being more positive about things as we go through challenge, less into the fight, flight, um, freeze response and lower stress levels. So really, again, a, a lot of um, good data on the impact of the program. It is a journey into self-awareness. And, and as I mentioned at the beginning, a lot of people aren't used to doing this. And it's, it's very refreshing to be able to take the time and turn within. And one of the things that I learned on my journey when I went through the ACT matrix was I wanted to deepen my connections through more honest and open communications. And I realized that what was holding me back was my perfectionist. I wanted to get these conversations right and not have the other person upset. And really, the, uh, I, there was a perfectionist tendency in me coming out. And what I learned from my journey was my, my belief was, you know, if I don't do it right, I'm going to upset the other person. If I don't do it right and I upset the other person, things are going to get messy. I'm not going to know how to handle that. And what I learned was, actually being vulnerable instead of being perfect was a much better way forward. And that created a lot of the, the trust, the deeper connection, the heartful sharing that was really key to my developing these deeper relationships, the, the, this intention of mine. And so my growth values were around authenticity and vulnerability. So it was kind of funny to me to see how paradoxical it was. I thought I needed to be perfect. And what I really needed to be was real and vulnerable. And that's where I had the most impact in terms of moving towards my intention. So that was my story. A lot of people 
have an intention, as I mentioned, around self-care. Um, people saying, look, I, I, I told my kids I needed 10 minutes before dinner to meditate. And they were thrilled. You know, it's some of the, the kids say, I want to learn too. I want to do this meditation. I want to learn about mindfulness. And so I've really had some interesting stories specifically from parents and how finding time for themselves has been benefit has been beneficial to them and their entire family. When we do take care of ourselves, it has a ripple effect on everyone around us and it is not selfish. Um, so just invitation to reflect, do you, do you recognize yourself in my example and some of these other examples that I've shared with you? What resonates? What would you like to explore? Um, here are some other testimonials. And what I love about this program, again, is that it's really adapted to a specific person and their own challenges and their own um, situations at work and at home. And that's what really makes it powerful. And I think the most important thing to me is this the course was excellent. Thank you for your help. It made a lasting difference in my life. We at Minds Matter are about having impact. And this is the most impactful program that we have. And we would love to share it with you and, and your teams. So if you would like to reach out to me, Jackie at Minds Matter, you can apply, apply for a pilot project. We um, usually have groups of about 15 um, we have a couple information sessions uh, in large companies. If, if you're launching it in a large company with information sessions in order to get the 15 people to sign up. And then we run it for a course of eight weeks and then we continue on and, and repeat uh, usually about three times a year in order to give many people a, a chance to participate. So if you'd like any other information, please don't hesitate, reach out and we would love to work with you on this. So thank you very much and um, look forward to um, again sharing this wonderful program with, with your teams.